Here's your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. If you want to represent a highway interchange on a poster, you usually use this one. The East L.A. Interchange in Los Angeles, where four major roads come together. It is indeed the busiest intersection of its kind in the world, and it's only a section of really a two-part interchange. Half a million vehicles of all descriptions every day come through here. This used to be a section of L.A. called Boyle Heights, but when construction on this interchange started, and it took 20 years, it literally ate up most of the Boyle Heights neighborhood. But the untold story in all of this is that there used to be homes here, and businesses, and restaurants, and gas stations. When this interchange started to be built in the late 1940s, a lot of people were displaced. And that happens every time an interstate goes through a residential neighborhood. Now, when you build an interstate highway through rural America, you just knock down some hills and pour cement. But when you build an interstate in a city, you have to do a lot of damage. You tear down buildings and go through parks. If the interstate is an east-west or north-south road, you just take a city block-wide swath, eliminating the homes and the schools and the businesses. The problem is, in many cities, such as Los Angeles, the interstates run at an angle, and that really disrupts the grid system of the streets. Everything seems to be cockeyed and cattywampus. But when the grass grows and the cement dries, it's hard to remember what an area such as Boyle Heights used to look like. It is still a pretty vibrant place, but there are a lot of empty lots and a lot of memories here of a time when this sprawling mega interchange wasn't here and people lived here. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.